what's up chilling like a villain look what i got here look at this people look at this i'm in japan i got I'm spilling it all over myself um, yum, yum. cornbread one of my wife's friends who is japanese brought back or, or brought over and dropped off some cornbread and it was wrapped in foil and you know people in Japan don't be wrapping in foil so and how I really know it was legit is you know I, I taste it <laughs> ah. mm. the only thing this is missing is some nice Texas style barbecue right on the Bruh. side because this this cornbread is good like it's slamming like you know usually a lot of people um, they make it and it's kind of like really hard and really crummy um, so to speak but this one is really I mean it's soft it's moist it's, uh, it's, 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 it's definitely the right texture from back in Texas I don't know where this lady is from but all I know is I'm gonna start putting a request for this cornbread. What's up, what's up, what's up? Just finishing up here with some framing of the windows, getting ready for some painting. Got all my stuff away from the walls here. Okay, all my stuff away from the walls, getting all this prep for paint. Painting the walls on the side a different color. And then doing a little bit of trim work. So it's gonna be good. Here we go. So one of the things that you have to realize as an entrepreneur, as a business person, is that um, you go out in the beginning trying to get as many customers as you can, you know, displaying your product or your services to the world. But after a while, you have to realize, or you will realize, that not everybody is supposed to be your customer um, in the sense that not everybody has that chemistry with you or with your business that they're supposed to be there and they're supposed to belong there. And when you don't have that chemistry together, um, it can actually drain you more than it fulfills you. It can drain them and keep them from fulfilling their purpose with some other person or with some other business or some other teacher or whatever it is. And the sooner you realize that, the more um, you will grow. You have specific people that are made um, for your business, that are made for the niche and made for the the type of personality you are and the type of growth and development that you provide. When you find people that really match with that, then you'll see exponential growth in your business, not just additional growth, you know what I mean? So um, just remember that. Don't try to hold on to everybody. Don't go chasing after everybody if they leave and you realize that the chemistry is not good because you're just draining yourself um, and you're going to drain the other people in the business that are really uh, fanatical and just ecstatic about what you do and being a part of the vision that you have. Hey, getting ready for the day right now. My uh, uh, lesson plan for the day. So I have generally, uh, you know, or I put out the curriculum for the whole week and then at, at the start of every week with my weekly updates. But every day I go through it and make sure that I make a detailed lesson plan for each class of the four classes I have each day um, or four programs I have each day. And um, sometimes I take, if, if we didn't get a concept down the day before, then I will go back through and have that in the lesson plan again to review a little bit. Or it might be uh, moving on to the next, the next movement or technique or concept for the week. So it just it really depends on what's going on. That's why I like to do it every day instead of writing it all out and then having to scratch it out. So a um, little bit of my, my daily ritual is lesson planning. Got my Starbucks tumbler over here. I usually don't use this because I lose stuff quite often or might leave the coffee in the can for about 10 weeks because I forgot where it is. But I usually just have the, the um, disposable cup. But my wife showed me where this was in the house and I found it and I've been using it for a couple days. Hopefully I don't lose it anywhere. I love passing on not just techniques but also principles behind the techniques the why and the how so that no matter what situation you are in you can begin to think of new solutions on your own and develop your own style of martial arts headed out to the beach to do a little uh workout of the day demonstration um the gym is kind of crazy right now because we've been painting just want to say thank you to all the folks that have been coming out and on their lunch breaks and stuff to help out with the painting. 
pretty much finished it all in a week. That's awesome. Well, it took me like two months by myself. Bruh, I just sat in line for 40 minutes to get some Coco's Curry. If I would have known, if I would have known that it was going to take 40 minutes, I would have just went somewhere else. I ain't going there again to that place opened all the way back up and people can go inside and eat instead of the drive. What it is, what it ain't. Got a little paint on me. Just got finished up with uh, finishing up a little bit of the more paint in the gym there. So we already got the base or the, the main color that we changed down. And now we're just going over some areas with some trim, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, we went and got some food. I got me an acai bowl, of course, acai. It's for everybody, it's for me, it's for you, it's for the whole world. Um, but yeah, so finishing up this week strong. Looking forward to next week, a few holidays, Japanese holidays. Kick it with the fam, the fam fam. And we'll see where we go.